Music can put us in a better mood, which makes us better at studying, but it can also distract us, which makes us worse at studying. So, should you listen to music when studying, and if so, what kind? I'm gonna answer that question in this video by looking at what the research has to say and listening to music from Drake, The Weeknd, and classical music while I'm studying to see how my own brain reacts. I'll break this video down in three sections. Studying with songs in the background, studying with no music, and studying with instrumental music. A common opinion is that you should study without music, because when you listen to music when studying, it takes away from some of the concentration that you could have towards studying. But that's not entirely true. First, let's look at studying with songs in the background. By songs, I'm referring to mainstream music and genres like hip hop, rap, pop, or R&B. This type of music is loud and has lyrics. From personal experience, I like to listen to this kind of music when I'm doing boring or mind numbing work. You know, the kind of work that doesn't require too much thinking. Examples of this is like doing, you know, math homework or already understand the concept. Uh, maybe working on Excel, filling in some sheets, or even when I'm catting. You know, these tasks don't require too much thinking, and listening to music makes the job more fun, and I don't dread doing it. There's also a ton of research that backs this up. A lot of research has concluded that lyrical, fast-paced music helps you concentrate, blocks distractions, and prevents you from getting behind during mind-numbing work. This is because it allows you to enter a state of flow. This is when you're able to deeply concentrate on the task at hand and momentarily forget everything else. When you're doing boring work, listening to music you really enjoy will help elevate your mood and allow you to enter that state of flow. But if the work you're doing is already challenging enough, listening to lyrical music will just prevent your mind from focusing and it won't allow you to enter that state of flow. But to keep this interesting, I want to try it for myself. So I grabbed my AirPods and I spent one hour a day for one week listening to music by Drake, The Weeknd, and Post Malone while doing complicated physics questions to see what would happen. I'd start off by reading the question and immediately I would keep getting distracted singing along when the question gets tricky or I read something that confuses me. Then my mind ends up wandering and before I know it, 30 minutes have passed and I got no work done. It was honestly just a disaster. One thing I noticed that when I listen to a song when studying and then I listen to it later on in a couple days for example, I realized that I remember that study session really well, even though that study session wasn't very productive. So it seems that studying with music benefits you in terms of memory retention. Another thing I noticed was that if I listen to the same song on repeat while studying, even though that song may have lyrics, my mind will get distracted a lot less than if I listen to a bunch of different songs back to back when studying. Anyways, after this experiment was over, it became kind of obvious that listening to no music will benefit me when studying than listening to music with lyrics in it, especially when studying tough subjects. So I decided to look into the research behind studying with no music and do confusing physics questions in absolute silence without any music to see what would happen. A 2010 study concluded that all music impairs performance, especially music that is not steady state. They took two groups of people in the study. One group worked while listening to their favorite musical artist, and the second group worked in absolute silence. Both groups were given tasks of reading comprehension, doing mental arithmetic, recalling phone numbers, and even learning a language. What ended up happening is the group that studied in silence completely outperformed the group that listened to music in all four tasks. But it's not all bad, because the same study reached another conclusion that all students should listen to music before working or studying, to engage what's known as the arousal and mood effect. As long as you do anything enjoyable before studying, it will actually end up boosting your performance when working. So basically, when you compare not listening to music when studying versus listening to music when studying versus listening to music right before studying then studying in silence, the third group always perform best in tasks like mental math, reading comprehension, or even learning a language. But I didn't just want to take their word for it and I wanted to try it for myself. So here's what happened when I did the experiment. I pulled out some physics work and I was able to think through the question logically to solve it and I didn't get distracted. But I did notice that working without music made it harder to recall the information that I studied a few days later. Then I came across this study that talks about how listening to certain type of music can help with memory retention, specifically instrumental music. A study from Stanford University found that the brain's ability to pay attention improved a lot after participants listened to classical music. That's because classical music helped improve their spatial reasoning. And if you don't know what that is, spatial reasoning is the ability to think about objects in three dimensions, allowing us to understand complex data and turn them into concrete ideas. This skill is really useful, especially in STEM courses like physics, calculus, biology, CAD, etc. Classical music definitely has the most research to back it up as the most effective music to listen to when studying, but if classical music isn't your thing, there are other options like jazz music, background noise, or world music. 
The consensus is that if you listen to moderately paced music with no lyrics, it will help you with memory retention and prevent you from getting distracted when studying compared to not listening to music at all. One of my favorite instrumental music to listen to when studying is listening to this YouTube video. It really helps me zone out and just focus on the work that I'm doing, so I recommend trying it. Now that we've had a look at all three types of music that you can listen to when studying, here's a summary and what I personally do. When working, you want to enter the state of flow. That's when your mind is able to focus on one task and get it done efficiently. So if you're doing boring work or mind numbing work, listening to the kind of music you enjoy will help elevate you from that bored state to that flow state and help you get your task done. For tasks that are challenging and require lots of thinking, it can be really intimidating to start and you can find yourself procrastinating on the tasks that you have to get done. So right before you begin working, you should listen to music that you really enjoy. This will lower your anxiety and allow you to enter that state of flow. Once you start it, switch the music you're listening to to some kind of instrumental music to keep you in that flow state. For example, when I was working on the script for this video, I found myself getting procrastinating and sort of putting it off. So I put on a little Drake and it helped just get me motivated to start working on the script. And once I really got into the state of flow, I switched to some kind of instrumental music and it helped me get this done a lot faster than I normally would if I didn't listen to any music at all. That's it for this video. I hope this video brought you value. If it did, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Thank you.